Mum said that she wasn't allowed to go swimming. She could only go wading. Well, I suppose that was it then. Be afraid of, of uh, the danger of the water, maybe like that. But the fact was, was he afraid of water himself? I was thinking he must be if he was afraid for the maybe little so. ones. Yeah. Maybe so. Maybe so. And I know Uncle Jimmy was definitely afraid of water. Who Uncle Jimmy. Really? Yeah. That came down. Maybe that might came down. God help poor Jimmy. He was afloat on on the Mediterranean. And was your dad religious? Very religious, or very, well. very religious? Uh, we went, never missed mass on Sunday, and he saw that we went. That's for sure. I don't remember going to communion that often. Well, um, no, but I think, and then we said the rosary in October. Yes, I would say, and I remember, and I was, I can still hear him when he was on his deathbed those last six months in Holy Land, and I can remember saying it out loud to remember Mary. So I was so surprised that. A, grown-up man, a farmer, would know the memory by heart. But I remember him saying the memory by heart, you know, those hours. And I, I remember he asked me to read to him. I said one, one time, I was teaching at the time, and I said, would you like me to read to him? He says, yes, I'd like that one. So I went to bury a few wagons books. Oh, is that bad? <laughs> he wanted something good and meaty enough to... Well, you had, that's right. I got into some politics the year that he had sciatica. I read all the uh, the political news. And that's what he would want. I read all that stuff. And I remember, uh, oh, what was the word that I said that I read from? I the word was it. I said, what else can it be? And I, yes, and I'm reading fast, so I'll say the word, and I think about something for another. It's come and come back to me again, probably. But I remember saying to him, "Oh, I said his fa- the the opposition leader, but voiced this opinion, as to, and which, and I said, which misled, smizled the others." Uh, <laughs> and he said, "What's that?" And I said, "It misled." <laughs> <laughs> and he said, "What's that, child?" And I said. Well, it's M I S L E D. What else can it be? And he said, "Girl, for all your algebra, you can't pronounce this slave. <laughs> well, I can remember that so well. I must be grade nine or so, you know. But it might have been. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? What did he die of? And he said that he was in he was in bed. Cancer, and prostate. He suffered. Oh my, he suffered though with his leg, burn on his leg. The one he was up to. Now this was at the house that he came. He was at the house for three or four months with that burnt leg and it got all crusted over and all things terrible. So we just knew there was something and even smell in the room. We knew there was something wrong. So I remember we changed doctors and I had to tell Dr. Helen that we were going to change doctors. Lord, Dr. Allen was furious. And I said, well, he said, not getting any better. And I said, when you told him, so he brought up this purple stuff, uh, potassium, potassium, manganese, I think it was, purple ink, put on hands. And I said, you told Lucy to put it on him. You wouldn't put it on him. And that's one of the grievances we had, decided to not get Pop any better. So I can still see Dr. Allen said, you, oh, you didn't know that I told him. She's put it on because your father used to her germ. I said, Well, he could have said that. We didn't know. We uh-huh. thought that you just wouldn't and it didn't help any. I said, It's certainly not getting any better. So when we caught Dr. Goodfellow, he came up, he just took one He says, He's got it in the hospital. That big crust has got to all come off. And then he signed up the hospital right away. So they did. And then we used to go to see him like, every, every night. The doctor said, Oh, I'm sorry. You know, every night we just see him the same line there. But he got over it, got home. Was he in Smith Hall at that time? Right. We did the skunk on the way one night. Oh, oh. Are you as just I like know. Are you? I like all the details. I do too. I can only take so much out in the news. Oh, wow. Well. Anyhow, this was pretty horrible. So we were in the hospital and they said, <laughs> <laughs> We smell skunk. We smell skunk. Yes, we smell skunk too. <laughs> <laughs> but even for months and months and months, in a human evening, you go to our bedroom. And it smells so strong. It lingered right to our cold memory. And we didn't get it. 
Anybody else wants to see me run over? Can you see that, John? I don't remember. Mm -hmm. I, I must get the magnifying glass. See what I have written there. It must be something. Well, I was just trying to think. It says the first line. It says, "Mammy Nefsi was a sister of Jerry Linus." So Mammy must oh, be Bridget. Of, Bridget of, uh, Jerry Linus' father. Jerry Linus' father. I think it's Jerry Linus' father. Right? And that's there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Mum remembers that uh, she died on a very hot day. Oh, so hot. And you and I had a fight right there on the deathbed. Do you remember that? Not a fight. No, well, I do. But anyhow, the men are out milking. It's about six o'clock at night. You know, it was the hottest day that ever came out. I thought. So anyhow, I remember being here at the top of the bed. You were a little bit beside me, and I didn't know. I said something. You was never happy for something. And then we both looked at each other and had to laugh because even well, because you said you were looking up at him, and then you'd go and hide. And I said, well, don't look, Claire, because it was an agony. But anyhow, and, and then we both looked at each other and, and laughed because even under the circumstances, it was a sheer nerve. It must have been very stressful, sheer nerve. So was he awake until the end? Well, Jostin was there, and I remember Jostin so good. She wet his lips. I remember the tongue would be parched and dry. And all for it. And I suffered so much with the tongue. It's awful. It's so long. I heard a car door shut on that yeah, side. Yeah, that's right. When I make my noise, the last time I was at this, I always... I don't know if I knew what's going on in that Was he asleep when he died? No. no. He died. He was a... I think Joe went in and she saw that he was a James company. And I remember he got out of bed when he wasn't she sheep. Wasn't he got out of bed. Wonderful. He couldn't because he was in bed for so long.
wouldn't be much of the nature of Christmas presents, but always something, you know, like an orange and a thing of dry and a pencil. Candy, that was good. Yeah, but the food is always good, and there was always, it was, it was very special, very special. Which would Whenever you, but most Christmas evenings, your father, your grandpa, papa, would take Lucy down to Eden's supper, down there for supper. I remember one time uh, lying with Jimmy in bed, trying to get the little ones from the bed, and they were, when Santa Claus was coming to them, you know, and Papa had the sleigh bells and rang them, and Jimmy said, friends, tell, tell them I'm asleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I shot the bed. That's so sweet, though. Yes. Yeah. And which would take precedence, Easter or Christmas? Christmas. I remember when they didn't have eggs at home because they never spent money. There was no money to spend out the side of it. But I remember it was common to make them go get buy eggs for Easter so we'd have eggs on Easter morning. And that was a special, shall we say, for recognition of Easter that uh, uh, eggs. Mom preferred Easter to Christmas. She always said. Did she? Less fuss and more Less meaning. <laughs> Very good thinking. Very good thinking. She could enjoy your mother it. Was so, your mother was the most reasonable woman I ever saw. You always had lovely Christmases, but you didn't all go all out with buying big presents and everybody seeing what you got and got what. Everybody, I found that you did that so nicely. Well, she always said that uh, Christmas was for the little ones, not for the grown ones. I read a cute story the other day. The two little ones were uh, watching a video of the Passion. And the, 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 the crucifixion, the little girl sobbed and cried, and the little boy put his arm around her and said, Don't worry, he'll be back for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cute. That's cute. Are you getting tired yet of the question? No. Let me know. I wish we could think of more anecdotes, though. Um, Poor John, I think, is wonderful how you sit through the. He's. He's the one who is collecting most of the information, actually. So he did. So you picked the right well, one. Does you ever pick the right one? I'm I'm the one who's finding out who the people are and where they fit in, and then Sue's gathering you know, the personality and the stories of these people. Can you tell me about your own mother? What did what color of hair did she have? Old oh, black hair. Old oh, black. Hair. Instead of Celtic. Black and black, 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 uh, old black hair like Mama and Mama. Nothing wrong with black with one. A little over the dark, pretty black hair, but not as black as old black as nice, of course. Of course, not. She was a very, very pretty. Mom always said that one of the time. Let me see what I have for some pretty ones. And the fives. And uh, what the name always used to say, Joe's name was the prettiest ones. He said, Jerry was the prettiest. Father Morgan said, Father Morgan said, I mean, was the prettiest. Well, some people said Jerry, but I don't know what's his name, all the same. But I um, no, always thought Josephine was. Pop said Josephine was mostly mom. But none of them said we were good. Very Did she have dimples? Yeah, that's just kind of dimple. John always told me that uh, someone told him, said that's what he said, no, he was a dimple. So John decided. But in the case I got proud of him, he said, you know, there's nothing very nice about them. He said, when God made you, there wasn't enough stuff so that he had to leave holes in your face. And there are no blue eyes left, so you had to get gray. Oh, oh. I, was, <laughs> I had to grow up to it. <laughs> he never forgot that. Oh, I never forgot. John was at a Francis O'Hara. Was it Francis O'Hara Francis? Well, there was just what Lord didn't come with you. It's made maple syrup, maple sugar. And if John grabbed the dish and ran down with a little well, <laughs> you had to do you remember? Anyhow, the dish got broken in half. I remember that part, but, but I remember John and Stacey. I remember only, I, I do remember making a cake, one and only cake I think ever made, and standing over it with the ice to do it. And I was so proud of it, but Wilbur and Mac, they had old John. John reached over from the top layer and took off of it. And I after it with the knife in my hand. And I remember Wilbert meeting us at the back porch door, the back door, and saying, 
Put finger going to the convent. <laughs> he said, what? Put finger going to the convent. I was talking to him tonight. <laughs> he was the worst chief I ever known. Was he? He loved her to die. Yeah. Yeah. Jimmy, Jimmy, he was about six years old or seven. Old enough to get the car and start it. Got the car out of the garage and down the way. <laughs> and Papa, anybody else, Papa would have killed him. But it was Jimmy, so that was as far as he ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> and was your mother, what was your mother's personality like? Do you remember what? She was very. I was five when she died. I could have a man, I couldn't put a face on her, but she always seemed to be very tall. But Jerry said, no, so it's a great deal taller than Indiana. And she talked fast, Jerry said, like I do. But she was very jolly. But always, she was like Aunt Anna an awful lot. Aunt Anna, I think, uh, must have been an awful she lot like that. She was very musical. Yeah. And she always sang a lot when she was working. But she always had her mother in law in bed. Must have been hard. Uh, she was, mom, grandma was in bed for 15 years with a broken hip nowadays. They'd fix that and don't come flat, but she lost it. Couldn't and then my sister, our Aunt Teresa, was there. That's not easy. It wouldn't be your own house. She was always expecting children. The same now, I appreciate your grandmother so much more than we did as children growing up. But we were a big family there to cook for, wash for in those days. And she would be expecting. And she was crossing the dinner. But I can see now, I appreciate now what she was, her side of it. She'd be not feeling well and there'd be little meals to get and little bread to bake. And, 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 the more I got, the more I got to know her. I got very, very fond of the poor idea. Yeah. So I lived in that board when I was two teachers' college and stayed there. It's your boyfriend. It's your boyfriend. Yeah, he's, he has, he's got a company, he's got a car in the yard, he's got taken off. Um, she, she's very, Jerry said she always remember her hands were worn from knitting. She was always knitting bits and stuff in the kitchen. Jerry had most of it. Well, Jerry was a Jerry was a so she would talk about her. And one time I said something about praying to somebody, she said, Jerry said, so well, she wouldn't, what if she wouldn't pray her own money? And then she said, I thought to myself, she never knew her mother. She said, yeah, I wouldn't have any remembrance of what's going to happen. Well, Jerry said, Jerry, Jerry and Joe, because she said, I thought to her too. And I remember Aunt Teresa, when I was four years old, I remember her sitting up by the grate and around and telling us stories. And I remember also having in her arms a punch man making putting uh, making bread and putting in raisins. And I guess <laughs> I remember some of the story was a little fellow that so taken away from his parents and taking away from England. He was Catholic but it was a cause of England. And uh, he was always been taught to say that it's just prayers to the road around the and I'm crying myself to sleep at night and saying the rosary on his fingers. I can still remember that. Fine play. Fine play, exactly. I remember when I got my lovely rosary, and that's what I said. That's yours? Yeah. Yeah. Nope. That's uh, Claire's. Yeah, but I'm just in the back of him. No, I must get back to the other side. I came to that church. Karen, that's the good stuff. Karen. Her life was a school. Can I make a cup of tea? Sure. Oh, please. I would love to. Like a cup of tea. Oh, I love to. That's the kind of people I like and say yes when they mean yes and not say, well, maybe you wonder what they, do they want or do they rather get. <laughs> do you need any help in there? No, I just put the kettle off. Is that the wash show? No, I should. There might be some of that mm. stuff there in the news because I think I sent over all of her stuff. Genius.